Hi, I want to talk to you about friendships. Now, that seems ridiculous, doesn't it? Here we're inside this house. We can't get out. We've got bandages across our face. I mean, what is this deal? We can't, what's the importance of friendships? Well, my friend, in times like this, we need to celebrate the fact that there are people who care about you, who love you, and who are your friends. And we want to celebrate the fact that we have the ultimate friend in Jesus Christ. Now, I've been blessed with lots of friends throughout my life, and one of those was a lady named Mary McBee. Now, Mary and I like to do plants together. She didn't want them in the house, and so in the fall, I'd bring them over here and stick them in my house. And this little geranium you see blooming right here, kind of scraggly looking thing, hey, don't blame it. It's 25 years old, which is old for a plant. And every time, I don't do anything really to it, you know, except water it, but every time that plant blooms, that geranium perks out with those pretty red blossoms, I'm reminded of how very blessed I was to have a friend who loved me unconditionally. So I think friendships are important. What are things about friendships that really matter? There's a couple in my mind, and one of them is that, you know, I think a friend ought to be the real thing. I don't think it makes any difference where you got your hair in curlers, whether you got on your sweats or your fancy duds, whether you got a fancy car or you drive an old jalopy, what kind of house you live in, whether you gain a few extra pounds, where you could bench press 5,000 pounds or where you can hit that golf ball in one stroke. I don't think it makes any difference. The important thing is that you be yourself because that's what God created and that is good. You need to be the real thing. And you know, Paul said that about Timothy. He said, hey, no one quite like Timothy. He is loyal. He is genuinely concerned for you. And most people around are looking out for themselves with little concern for the things of Jesus. But you know for yourself that Timothy is the real thing. What a wonderful compliment for Timothy. And don't you want to be that kind of friend? The real thing. The real thing that we have in a friendship is Jesus Christ because his promises are always going to be true and he's going to always be there for you. You know, and friends ought to be there for each other in tough times. This is tough times. Have you ever lived through anything like this? The whole world is, is consumed by this pandemic, by, by not being able to get toilet paper. Isn't that ridiculous? Not being able to get eggs or milk or being afraid that you can't go outside the house or a germ is going to attack you. Worrying about your kids that are out there that you don't have any control over. This is tough, tough times and it's serious times. And we don't know what this is going to be like when this is over. These are tough, tough times. And a friend needs to be there for another friend in tough times. And that's great. We want to be. But you know what? Jesus Christ is there for us in tough times. And Paul said it. He said in all of these things, we are more than conquerors through Jesus Christ who loved us. He said, I'm convinced that nothing can separate us from God's love in Christ Jesus our Lord. Not death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, or future things, or powers, or heights, or depths, or anything that is created, including that stupid coronavirus, can separate us from God. It's, you know... These are tough times, but God is with you. Jesus is with you. He's got your back, and we need to have our backs for each other. The last thing I think is important in a friendship is love. You can do a lot of likes, but there's a difference in love. It's important, and there's not a better example of love than Jesus. He said, love is the most important thing in Corinthians. He said, love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, and soul first, and then love your neighbor as you love yourself Everything depends upon this. Love is important. Jesus Christ loved you so much, my friend, that he died on the cross for you. And he is with you every day of your life, no matter where you are. And he's a continual reminder that he is there. He is there for you. Just like this little flower that blooms occasionally is a reminder for me that my friend loved me unconditionally. And I need to know that I am blessed. And friends, you're blessed too. Check out that friend of yours today. Give them a call. Say a prayer for them. Let them know that you're thankful that there's somebody out there that loves you. Have a great and blessed day.